Do I think there's ever a reason for weight loss? Yeah, there are tons of reasons why people lose weight. And they're valid, but they're also fat phobic. Welcome to yet again another perfected Big Mac edition. My name is Olympian. Some of you might know me as Olympianus, Olympinus, with the meanest of six inches. All right, it's good to be back, boys. It's good to be back. It's good to be back here on the tubing. Tubing, tubing hard, boy. Sun up, sun down. The hustle never sleeps, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for that great content. All right, I'm hoping wherever you may find yourself today, having a swell day. All right, now, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. I haven't thought of one yet. But these fat phobics, all right, I'm going to put them to the test. I'm sorry, but there's a big difference between being thick and being obese. Are you sorry, though? Are you really? I don't think you are. Because here's the thing. Everybody likes to go after Tess Holiday and Lizzo about promoting obesity. And here's the thing. They're both incredibly active people. Like, really active people. So they actually promote really healthy lifestyles. The only difference is, is they have fat bodies. You cannot determine someone's health and lifestyle based on what they look like. All right, three things come to mind as I'm sitting dangerously close <laughs> across the table from you. All right, first is, would I want to smash? Most indefinitely, boy, I tell you something. Everybody that knows me knows that I have a fetish for molds. You would probably be the worst to be ever casted in a Martin Scorsese movie, right? I mean, everyone is like, oh shit, who could that mold be? And then they just look at you like, oh, that bitch is the mole right there. Right? And even if it turns out not to be you, shit. Plot twist. I mean, that will take the cake. Martin Scorsese, we have a winner. Ain't that right? Second is that you said that they are active? And here's the thing. They're both incredibly active people. Where? Where? On the fridge? On the bed? On the couch? Where? On social media? That's not being active, all right? And thirdly, I mean, this handsome young stud, you know, he had the decency to humble himself, to say, hey, listen, sorry, all right? You're, you're not thick, all right? You're just a fat ass, right? And you come and you say, you don't think he's sorry? And then you turn around and say that they are only having fat bodies. Fat what? You said fat? Why didn't you say thick, all right? Everybody know there's a difference. There's a big difference between being thick and being obese. The only difference is, is they have fat bodies. Why you said in their fat bodies. Hey, fellow fat people, what's something that you do that you're pretty sure really pisses off thin people? Breathe. Bruh. My fellow fat asses, what do you do that pisses off thin people? Hmm? Speaking to the manager. The manager always being a fin some bitch. I told that bitch I said I paid for an extra sauce, but only get medium to rare sauce. Now that's some, ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Now everybody look at me like I'm some crazy, some punk ass bitch. Why don't they have a fat ass manager? Somebody that can relate. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I don't say, I gave, I, I paid everything, man. I had extra sauce. Which was just hard on saying. So that fat ass knows, oh yeah, you yeah, understand very much. Uh, you wanted the extra sauce. Hey, hey, hey. I love some cream burst sauce on my motherfucking breast. Alright, I didn't choose this life. Cream burst sauce toast down diddle do chose me, boy. You know the most exhausting part of being fat isn't actually being fat. It's just public perception of us and how we're treated. Like, I look good. I got cute clothes, finally. I could go on hella dates if I wanted to. I'm basically just a fine ass bitch, but you know, the world just hates to see fat people thrive. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm going to go get a snack. Now, it's important to note, all right, when I see a fatty, I drop all the matey, boy. I, I, that's just what I done do, a dang, boy. You know, when I hear people talking about, I feed my family. You know, I want you to show it. I want you to be, exhibit A, I feed my family, all right? I mean, there's just, you know, obviously. Now, there's some solid cuts in between. I don't know if you needed to take time and really think about why you're a fine-ass bitch, but let's take your argument and let's put it to the test, all right? You're a fine-ass bitch, all right? Because 
You can go on hella dates. What? Oh, I mean, am I the only one impressed? Hella dates? Shh. Fine ass bitch. Alright. Second. Alright. You got some cute clothes. Finally. I mean, I would suspect that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You had to order that shit from China. And China's like, no, fuck you. Fuck you. We already overworked too much. Fuck you. We don't, we all work too much. Now we have to do a fucking, a wheel of a fucking thing. No, we don't do that. No, no. You have to wait at least six weeks. Mm hmm Okay. Not a fun. Not a fun. Right? I mean, that's just obviously. You get cute clothes that makes you fun as bitch. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to you. And what are you talking about? People don't want to see rave. Like people are seriously holding you back from your promotion. They're like, yeah, we want to promote us. Like, no. I'm like, why? Can't you say, man, just a fat ass? Just a, just as big as a whale, man. I would understand. I would understand if her job entailed the tasting and improving of snacks. But we don't do that, man. We're an accountant team, boy. I just watched this video of this girl talk about her trauma from weight loss and the fat phobia that she's faced and her stitches are off so I can't even stitch the video but it got me to think about what happened to me when I was 15. It was uh, the summer right before high school and I had this big family dinner and one of my aunts told me that I should strongly consider running every single morning because guys aren't going to want to date a fat girl. And I was like, hold up bitch, I'm fat? Like, I've always known I was taller than everybody, a little bit, like, bigger than everybody, but I never considered myself to be fat. I actually liked that my body was bigger and that I was taller. I, I felt, I don't know, more strong, more confident because of it. But because this comment came from someone that I loved and I admired so much, it truly did get to me. Man, you gotta listen sometimes. You know, most of the time, I mean, women, they be tripping. Right, them colleagues be faking it hotter than a motherfucker, man. They'll be faking the shit. It's like, oh, you wow, you look nice. Did you gain weight? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, a little, but at least I don't have a fucking mole on my face. It's like, touche. I'll catch you tomorrow. Same time, same place. And also, I mean, if you have to be introduced by your friends, right, by your loved ones, they'll be like, yeah, this is Cheryl, all right? Eight wonder of the world, weighing in at 250 pounds. Alright, I guess then it's time for you to, to put some brakes on that shit, alright? Sometimes people love you and they're telling you, listen, you need to hit the gym, alright? I mean, to be fair, I don't want to categorize anything, alright? Nigerian men, they like a fat, they like a fat steak, man. I, they ain't, no, ain't nothing to it, boy. Right? They love it. Know what I'm saying? So to, to say not, no man wants to date you? Pfft, false, alright? Get your ass to Nigeria. Oh, you'd be treated like a fucking queen. You'll be treated like a queen, baby girl. Like, oh, they fought a woman. So yes, if you work out strictly for appearance-based reasons, you are fat phobic. I hate to tell you this, but actively not wanting to be fat is indeed fat phobic. <laughs> Guys, can we please just acknowledge this moment of trolls, man? This is a top troll right here. All right, you can see the smirking on this girl's face. And both of them, they're trolling the fuck out of us, man. And then you have fat people buying into this, like, mm, indeed, indeed. And they're acting like it's the new doctrine, right? They'll be standing in front of the gyms talking this type of shit. Hey, hey, you, you know you're big enough that weight. You know you're big enough that weight. You know what you're doing? You know what you're doing? Fat phobic. That's what you're doing, little dude, boy. I mean, can we just enjoy that? That's a perfect troll, man, hands down. As the Olympian, I recognize and I appreciate a good troll. And all I can say is, I'm impressed. You didn't diddly do, went for gold, boy. If you are thin and you post those body positivity photos. What the fuck? <clears throat> if you are thin That's better. and you post those body positivity photos where you're hunched over and forcing yourself to have roles. I want you to feel embarrassed. Because that's embarrassing. Man, shut your bitch ass up! I want to tell you. <sighs> if you stand in an upright position, you can see your penis from a bird's eye view. There is nothing.
to be ashamed about. If you don't have shit stains on your undies, you should be ashamed of yourself. If it takes you two weeks to finish a cream berry bar, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because <sighs> that's embarrassing. So there you have it, you fat ass haters. As the Olympian, what we always been done. Diddly dang, boy. <sighs> we go for gold.